Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim. I'm Jen. And we are rambling. Did you have a good day yesterday? I did. It was perfect. I had a great birthday. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And it was very special. It was very, very special. I love my gifts. You guys got to see the gifts that Jen Jen gave me. And I got uh, the greatest gift of all, the presence of my beautiful girlfriend and my wonderful family. The only thing that could have made it better, two things could have made it better. What's that? Morgan would have been here. True. And I got to see my grandma Carol, right? Because she came in and said uh, good morning, and she left to go do a um, um, a charity walk. And then she went over to see the baby and Alyssa, and she came back, and we were kind of following her on the road the entire time. So I didn't even right. get to see Grandma Carol yesterday. Uh, but I saw her this morning. Of course, she was one of the first ones to wish me happy birthday, too. Actually, Morgan was the very first one to wish me happy birthday. Six yeah. o'clock in the morning, I get a text from Morgan. Right and early. Um, but I got to see Alyssa and the baby, and got to see Tyler. We had a really good motorcycle ride, didn't we? Yes, we did. It was nice. Very good. Get a drink of my... It was good and cool by the time we came home. It, it felt so good. He had, he had to put a jacket on. <laughs> <laughs> it was hot. It was 90 degrees yesterday, but it was uh, cool in the evening on the interstate, right, with the, on the motorcycle. Yeah. Guys, look at this. I got tricked. I got tricked. This is not Coke Zero. It is very delicious, but it's not Coke Zero. I believe this is Lissa's from DD5's. <laughs> she drinks the Coca-Cola. Yeah. And I was over at David's for the Pops party, and I had a cooler, and everybody was just throwing their stuff in my cooler. Well, I came home, put all my stuff in the refrigerator, grabbed this out, and went, well, that's different. <laughs> it's good? <laughs> it's good, like it's it? good, yeah, it's good. I get a little more energy from it, because it's not, uh, you know, zero sugar. But Lissa, thank you very much for the Coke Classic. I appreciate you. <laughs> I was a little embarrassed yesterday. Why? You noticed something that no one else oh, did. I did. <laughs> uh, I, so I was shocked he didn't see it. He edited. The I edited thing. the video and I uh, <laughs> I watched it. We you know and uh, you guys watched it. Uh, Three thousand people have watched it. I put a video out yesterday of uh, me putting the tree stands up by myself. Thank you very very much. And uh, Jen Jen watched it last night when we got home, and she says. I said, babe, I can't believe you didn't notice this. He I was said, like, what? I said, your flies unzipped. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing this with his hands up, and you can, he just had a big gaping <laughs> hole there. No, wait a second. <laughs> 3,000 people watched that video. I watched that video. How come you're the only one that noticed that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. Uh, so she said, hold on a second. And I, I rewound it and she's like, and I was like, you're right. She said, you're wearing blue underwear. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, it was funny. So almost the entire video, I'm going around with uh, my fly open. Uh, I actually did a product review in that video, but luckily it was from the waist up. Otherwise they would have been, they would have been, uh, a matter of fact, they liked it so much. They said, can we use your uh, video on our website? <laughs> Did they really? They did. They did. Uh, but I think they're going to use Oops. the portion, you know, the, okay. the, the, the portion. Not, not, not the me <laughs> lifting up the uh, um, tree, uh, stand. tree stand where my uh, fly open my blue underwear is showing. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. Tater came up here, and Tater is covered in Nero slobber. Yeah, come here. Come top here. of his head is covered in Nero slobber. I'll and, see uh, top of his head. <laughs> um, Nero has a propensity... For eating the other dog's poo and his slobber and his and y'all wonder why we don't want him slobbering on all of us because now near now uh tater smells like dog poo yeah because he got the nero slobber all over him but we still give both the doggies love and don't we i really don't think it's him i think it's nero that's that's smelling funky well yeah but it's the i'm sure the slobber does too <laughs> You don't smell bad, do you? You just look bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but let's see. Uh, it was a good day. We had, we did about 250 miles on the motorcycle yesterday. Really? We did. Wow. We did. Well, it's uh, it was over. It was probably about 95 miles there. The route we took, and then the route we took home was probably uh, 150, 155. We took the long way home. We took. See. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to take me out to dinner 
And uh, I was trying to think, where can we eat that's not someplace we've normally eaten? And I always think, Huey's. Huey's is a unique place um, that would still be open on a Saturday night uh, when we're coming through at uh, 8 o'clock at night. And uh, I thought it was in uh, Covington, Tennessee. And so we drove south from Dyersburg on, inter on Highway 51 and uh, went to Ripley. It wasn't there. Went to Covington. Went to... Um, um, uh, Brighton, it wasn't there. Went to Covington, it wasn't there. Went all the way down to Millington, which is almost in Memphis. And that's yeah. where it was. I go, oh, I didn't remember it being down here in Millington. You didn't put it in your maps. <laughs> no, we were just cruising. And I didn't oh. want to show you what it was. I mean, I, I, I oh, thought okay. we'd surprise you. It's my birthday and I'm trying to surprise her where we're going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. I had a smash burger. She had a smash burger and it had that, their homemade sauce, which is really like Thousand Island, It was wasn't Big it? Mac sauce is what it was. It was like Big Mac sauce. But I had a bite of hers and it was good. I had a steak on a stick. That's Gavin's like Gavin's favorite. We used to go to Huey's a lot, and Gavin always had a steak on a stick. And I, I usually I usually get a, a shrimp po' boy or a catfish sandwich or something. But this time I got the steak on a stick, and it was pretty good. But that smash burger was better. She had sure the big was. giant onion rings. I had the the family steak fries. It was like a half an half an onion, like a big onion cut in half, and then they pulled those layers off. That's it was how huge. huge they were. Huge, huge, huge. I'd huge. say probably that wide. At least. Oh yeah, it was, and it did. It had the thick batter, like a Sonic onion ring, but it was not sweet like a Sonic onion ring. Yeah, the, it, it was, wasn't it was that. Good, though. Yeah, because Sonic, in case y'all didn't know this, the reason their onion rings taste so sweet, it's vanilla shake batter, vanilla shake mix in the batter. Yeah. Yeah. My son uh, Tyler, when he was uh, younger, he worked at Sonic, and he said, "You want to know why they're so good? Because they use vanilla shake in the batter, batter uh, mix in the batter." I like them, but they'll tear your mouth up eating them. Yeah, they're very uh, the coarse or something about the yeah. way the uh, like oh, look at look at him like over. Like Captain Crunch. <laughs> oh, rolling in the in is. the sun. <laughs> Taters out there in the grass, just rolling in the sun. Having him a good He's old time. having a good old time. <laughs> Nero's too old to play with him now, so he he just plays um, him and Cammy. Actually, the the French bulldog. When uh, he she's outside, they play together like crazy, and, and he's so much bigger than Cammy. Cammy will eventually just lay down and roll over, but in the house um, they play together, and it, 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 it's comical. It is super comical. <laughs> well, today Ginger and I are gonna get busy. Uh, guys, get your mind out of gutter. We're gonna be busy doing work on the ridge. Goodness gracious! I, I, did, you, did you hear them? As soon as I said that, they started. Their jaws dropped, and their <laughs> they were like, "Who oh, just said that?" No, guys, we're gonna be working. It's like in the video when I was talking about uh, uh, putting the strap on the tractor. Strap on. They immediately went to a strap on. Like, How can you guys do this? I mean, you're like David from Come On Home said, got that slip on. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I was like, I was over at David's and he was showing me his shooting range. He said, you see my dong? I said, I don't want to see your dong. He said, right there, that, that, that's, that's the 80 yard dong. And, like, and I was like, this? He goes, you just touched my dong. I said, it's a gong, David, a gong with a G. That's hilarious. <sighs> That boy, that boy, I, you, you can't, you just can't take him nowhere. Mm -mm. You just can't take him nowhere. <laughs> you think he's, uh, he, he don't watch my videos, but he, so he didn't see me sitting in that tree stand looking down at uh, Old Blue going, man, from up here, Old Blue is almost as small as Uber. Yeah, I'm <laughs> waiting for him to watch that. Somebody's going to tell him. Usually yeah. what happens is Dawn from Hat Creek, or she's, uh, she's uh, our flipping homestead now, Dawn contacts him and says, you see what Tim said? He did that during, that that night I was doing the live and I was uh, talking about him not the one where he's on the live but I was talking about him she she texted him and he came in chatting what you talking about Willis <laughs> <laughs> oh this coke this coke uh, sugar coke is uh, pretty good 140 calories per can lots and lots of sugar ah, sugar anyway. sugar honey honey you are my candy girl all right, um, so yeah, we're gonna be getting it on the ridge. Uh, I got a uh, Wild Badger 18 inch electric mower. I'm gonna mow up all around the foundation and we're gonna box blade the road. Ginger and I are gonna get out in the woods, put some uh, strap straps on the pop-up blinds. <laughs> 
straps on the pop-up blinds. <laughs> These people, goodness gracious. Um, and uh, take the hunting chairs out there, get all that prepped up. Maybe when you come down next time, we'll go hunting. I'm ready. Let's yeah, do it. Yeah, you've Let's never been bow hunting, have you? Um, I take you crossbow hunting last once, year. Once, but I didn't get, I didn't see anything to shoot. Oh yeah. Did you have you shot the crossbow? Didn't you? Didn't you practice with it one time? I did. Yeah. Okay. I practiced and I and I went hunting, but nothing came. That's out right. That's right. That morning, so. Uh, she shot, but nothing came out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> Oh man, that did not mean it that way. I was saying you. Oh, no. shooting blanks. No, I was like, oh, you shot the crossbow and the arrow didn't come out. That's all I was saying. Oh, we're in a mood. That breeze feels good, doesn't it? It does. Because it's, it's nice in the shade, but it's, it's totally 90 hot degrees. In the sun. Yeah. And uh, of course, we're picking the hottest part of the day to work. Uh, but this evening, Grandma Carol's making a rib roast, beef rib roast she said it was normal it's ribeye it's a roast made out of ribeyes steaks so it's like basically 10 ribeye steaks uncut yeah really big it's a ribeye roast and uh normally it costs like 150 dollars or something like that but she got it on sale like huge on sale so she's thawing that and she's going to cook it we're not grilling it i'm not smoking it she wanted to do it for my birthday i guess uncle sonny's coming over and uh, that's going to be our dinner. And uh, so she's cooking this ribeye roast, rib roast, and we'll see how it, we'll see how it turns out. Sounds good. It's probably going to be good. Probably going to be real good. Oh, I'm sure. It's ribeye. <sighs> and you got to get back to work, don't you? I do. Yeah. You, this weekends fly by so quickly. Um. She still have berries growing off of that? Or uh, blackberries? No, nah, I think the blackberries are done for the year. Yeah. They, they dry, the birds eat them, they dry up. There's some marigolds still alive though. You see the flowers? Mm -hmm. Marigolds, supposedly the marigolds uh, keep the mosquitoes at bay, that's what I'm told. Keep the bugs off, I think. Something like that. Anybody know what marigolds mm -hmm. supposed to do? Isn't, aren't marigolds a, a, an, an insect repellent? It doesn't do it in Arkansas, I can tell you that. <laughs> Ain't least, nothing gonna repel them, uh, to plant them, those them and... bugs in uh, Arkansas. Oof. I, I'm afraid to go look at the front of my motorcycle from last night because we were driving down uh, 51 which is right near the Arkansas state line and uh, some of them uh, Arkansas bugs were coming over into Tennessee hitting the front of my matter of fact my I saw I, the sides both sides had, there was like splotchy areas my headlight the LED headlight on the uh, on the Harley had so many bugs on it that when it was projecting out the beam of light there was these Black splotches, like she just said, from the bugs. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash all that off. Oh my goodness, I could, I could deal with that breeze all day long. Yes, it feels wonderful. So we got to get the box blade on the tractor. Uh, Jen Jen's gonna drive the tractor. Uh, she's gonna be a pretty good pro with the tractor now. I mean, she's she, every day she gets a little. Every time she's on, she gets a little bit better, a little bit better. Thanks, um, still haven't seen Marguerite on the tractor. <laughs> You just had to. <laughs> I just had to. I mean, what's what's David afraid of? You gotta give her time. You know what he's afraid of? What? She's gonna operate better than him. She I ain't does. afraid of that. I already know she can operate she as good might. as me. She just might. She just might. <laughs> it, it, I mean, if he lets Mike operate the tractor, why would he not let Margarita? I just don't get it. Matter of fact, you know what the people need to do? What? They need to go over on Come On Keeping It Real, comment on his last video, He's got one coming out today of him and Margarita. They're, of course, on a trip. You know, they're riding around, going to see the Buffalo River in a car, not a motorcycle like we were. We were in a motorcycle all day. Actually, I saw some of um, his Snapchats, and it's pretty. It's pretty, but he was in a car. But anyway, they're out there gallivanting around, and they should be on a tractor getting work done like we are today, right? Sure. <laughs> So go over to come on keeping it real and say uh how come we uh, ridge life wanted to say uh how come we ain't seen margarita on uber yet are you afraid are you afraid are you afraid I'm gonna get him started <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness He's terrible y'all i am terrible i am terrible. terrible i am terrible um i called david uh this morning and uh he didn't answer and so, uh, you know, I'm he's trying to get me back. It's exactly what he's doing. Because he called me like 12 times last week and I didn't answer the phone because I was working. I mean, ain't nobody got time for that. He calls me like 24 seven. So he call, I called him this morning, he didn't answer. And then I called him back at lunch. I was sitting down to eat lunch while you were out here. 
uh, letting your hair dry. She just got her got her hair uh, trying to let it dry. Uh, I called him back. He said, man, you're like a schoolgirl. Call me back, back to back. I said, dude, it was six hours ago when I called you. <laughs> you know? <sighs> not, like, not like the receipts I got on my phone. Miss call, miss call, miss call, miss call. Goodness gracious. Got the receipts. I got the receipts. <laughs> kind of like your daughter in that the video she showed us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should I, should I throw John under the bus? No. Well, yeah. Yeah. Roswell, you done said his name now. <laughs> um, uh, John, that's Jarrett's daddy. Uh, Lissa showed me a video. John was there, so he yeah. see, he was there. Uh, John told a story about uh, chopping a tree down, sawing a tree down next to their house. And uh, the, he, he told the story first, right? Yeah, he did. He said, yeah, I was cutting this tree down. I did the notch. It was supposed to go this way. And it laid down, and a branch just kind of laid down on the roof. And I was like, she "What?" Was like, I was like, "That didn't sound too bad." It didn't lay down. She said, "I got a video." I was like, "Oh, she's got the receipt." <laughs> <laughs> so my daughter pulls out this video, and John's like, "Oh my goodness!" And because he hadn't seen the video, but he knew what really happened. So she pulls out this video, and he chops this tree down, and it's supposed to go this way, and it goes, "Ooh!" And it goes, "Smack!" <laughs> the entire tree was on the roof of the garage or the house. I mean, the entire tree. But luckily, it came down at an angle where it rested just like this. It didn't like hit it like this. It yeah. went oops, the whole tree. And uh, he said they, they he'd already uh, chopped part of the big limbs off and all that. So um, he said he got up there. There was no damage to the roof and the, the shingles and everything. But <laughs> that was not the story yeah. he told. <laughs> sure looked different. We love you, John. Video. We love you. <laughs> Take good care of uh, Jarrett. He seems like he's a good daddy, doesn't he? Yeah. He uh, yes. he really cares a lot. Uh, when when uh, Jarrett was first born, and I was over there. He was uh, you know worried about his color and jaundice and everything. And I t told him to take the temperature, really? and he never took it taking the baby's temperature with a temp temporal scanner. And uh, he really he, so he did that. He was doing all that, and uh, he seems like he's gonna be a real good daddy. Yeah. So. Uh, and Jared's just the cutest little peanut oh world, my isn't he? Goodness. We he held him adorable. for, we held him, and uh, I'm gonna tell some more stories on on uh, my daughter. Uh, we held him, we held him, and she said, "Well, he's probably getting ready to use the bathroom." And you know, mamas know these things, right? And uh, he started, started growing. And, and then all, and we, we said, "All right, he's letting it go. Here you go. Here, you know, that's the best thing about being a grandparent, right?" Yeah. He's like, oh, "Here you go. He's all yours." <laughs> He was trying to sleep the whole time, though. Yep. He had his eyes closed yep. doing that. So we uh, we hand him off to her. She takes him in to change his diaper. <laughs> and he wasn't done yet. Yeah. <laughs> he was projectile. <laughs> she, she had to take him, put him in the bathtub. And, and I went in there. he was not having it. Uh, he and screamed the whole time. He screamed the, the whole time. Well, no, he actually, while he was getting a bath, he wasn't that bad when she brought him out. Oh, yeah. okay. In the bathtub, he, he, was, he, was, he was enjoying that. Yeah, he got cold when, you know. But uh, I said, uh, welcome to motherhood. I mean, of course, she's already a mama. She already knows this stuff. But, yeah, he uh, uh, he uh, he got her good. Yeah, you, I, and I said, you're not a parent until your kid pees or poops on you, mm -hmm. right? Throw up, pees or poops. I mean, we're talking about all the good stuff today. <laughs> <laughs> Do, uh, Nero eating poo, right? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Jared all over everywhere. Oh yeah, well just uh, and of course David, you know. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Jared's just adorable and he sweet. He is. Yeah. He's just a good, so good-tempered baby. Always. Um, yeah, we got lucky. I mean, he's uh, every time we come over, he's always in a good mood. And I asked uh, 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 John and Alyssa, and they said, no, he's generally that way. You know, he, he still cries occasionally, like you know when he was coming out of the bathtub, but. Good baby, good baby. And you said Lauren was a good baby, right? Yes. Yeah, she, she had a little she colic? Was, she had colic um, for a little while uh, when she was born. And then when that went away, she was just the perfect baby. And she's been perfect ever since. Aww. But when she had the colic, I like stayed up with her crying myself. I just. I felt so bad for her and I couldn't get any sleep and she couldn't sleep. So yeah, it was rough, but. My kids were terrible. <laughs> were they? <laughs> no, they weren't terrible, but they were very uh, um, uh, extra like me. 
extra. Yeah, okay. they were extra like me. That they, makes sense. Yeah, they, 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 they didn't really have colic. They just had... Just like Daddy. <laughs> they, they were very uh, extra. Now, Alyssa was telling some stories today that apparently I have blocked out of memory, right? Yeah. What was the one about... Um, Morgan stopped Morgan breathing. Morgan stopped breathing. We had to call an ambulance to come, you know, on the couch in the living room in our Dyersburg house. Apparently, I was at work. Had to be because if it was that traumatic, I don't like remember she that was at all. Explaining it, she said it. It still she gets like traumatized. Yeah, because she was little. It. She was a, she was young. She, you know, because you couldn't have been there. Because she's only about four years older than uh, Morgan. Yeah, she's four years older than Morgan, so she was four. And uh, I, I don't think she remembers right. So, but uh, and what was the other story? So that was Morgan. What was her story? She was, you had her lay oh, down on your chest. I don't think that and happened. Her face was in his chest. I was at a computer arm wall. You know, back in the day when you had big giant tower computers and the big TV monitors, we had this big cherry wood computer arm wall. And the thing weighed like a thousand pounds. And I'm sitting there, you know, and I had my newborn Alyssa on my chest, you know, and I'm on the computer. Doing, imagine that, Tim, on a computer. And I'm doing this stuff right here. And, uh, uh, she turns blue apparently, and we end up having to resuscitate her. So I don't think that. No, happened. I don't think all that no, happened. No, 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 no. I think it was the this 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 stuff right here. Maybe you didn't trim it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. It, it prevented her from being She's able to breathe. Sucked in the chest hair and. Uh, <laughs> She's terrible. That's the first thing I thought of when she said that. <laughs> This is crazy. I love his chest hair, though. Oh. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. So, uh, yes, I had a video with my fly open the entire time, and only Jin Jin noticed it. And uh, did you notice it? Have you watched that video? Apparently, they haven't watched the video. Go, go watch You it. haven't watched the video. It's uh, And you were kind of concerned with me putting them tree stands up, too, weren't I you? I was, yes. It's dangerous. It, I, I uh, should not have done it the way I did it, but I did it, and it's done. My yeah. knee, I, I actually, I'm still so sore today, and uh, my knee, knee didn't hurt at all yesterday. It, it's hurting a little bit today, but I don't know if it's from riding a motorcycle or, or what, but um, it's fine. It's fine. It's good to be fatigued sometimes. That means Muscle, you're, yeah, yeah, and your you're muscles, working. That's really good. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was a crazy video. Um, oh, oh, I almost forgot. What did you think about me putting the pop-up blinds up? Oh, I laughed the entire time, y'all. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it was hilarious watching him try I to I left that. every bit of that in there. I was no video cuts, no editing, and I, was like, people want to see how stupid I am. I said, because I, I put that one pop-up blind up a thousand times, and uh, apparently that day I, I didn't have any I could clue how to do it. It took you getting in there and punching the corner. <laughs> I don't know what you was doing in there, but <laughs> he finally got in there and was like, oh. If you didn't watch that video, what you missed it all. Goodness gracious. All right, I'll put a link to it right there. Uh, me with my fly open and me having uh, the heck of a time putting the pop-up blinds and me almost uh, falling to my death 18 feet up in the tree and uh, with a tree stand just barely touching on the tree and then of course the tractor and all that Make stuff. Make sure yeah. you put it in the video though because when you say that, you never do. I do. Why, why does that show up sometimes? It doesn't show up. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Sometimes so I'll say it right here and I'll put it up there and people say I didn't put it up there, but I did. Yeah. I did. I, it's, I've never seen one. It's that called you have. adding a card. And uh, yeah, I, I had the card. Okay. So if you ever see that, uh, let me know and I'll make sure it's in there. If you ever see that, if I ever say I put the link right there and you don't see the link, let me know because uh, I never see the link. <laughs> never? Never. Really? Yeah. I'll just show you where I did it. I never okay. Have. Oh, wow. Yeah, but if you see one missing, let me know, okay? Well, I see Uncle Sonny pulling up. So, we need to get off here. Hopefully you all enjoyed today's uh, fun fest. It was, uh, it was kind of funny, it was kind of good. I think it was kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny. All right guys, until next time, hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling. Go Ridgeline. Woo!